Alrighty, good morning guys. It is like 8.30 on I think the 12th of April today. Um, I've been away for the past few days so I, I have not been able to weigh myself or anything but I've still been tracking everything I've been eating but let's go weigh myself and... One seventy-seven point six. Woo! All right, so as you can see, I woke up this morning at one hundred and seventy-seven point six pounds, which is really good considering I started this at um, one hundred and ninety, one hundred and eighty-nine point six. If you can see up here, it's probably like back or something, but whatever. Um, really good means I ate the perfect amount, if not even maybe a little bit less while I was away and. Did perfect. So, anyway, let's get on to the tail whips. So, to everyone learn how to tail whip, uh, this is one of like the most popular ass tricks on how to do it right. A lot of people can land it, but they'll land it one foot or they're very inconsistent with it. So, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips that have helped me. Um, I mean, I'm not the best in the world at tail whips by any means, but I know how to do them man. I've been able to do them for a long time now so I've found what works best for me sometimes it doesn't work best for other people but let's start off with tip number one all right so tip number one is getting familiar with the motion of a tail whip rather than just not knowing how to do it so when you try it, you have no idea what's going on you kind of just flicking it and it doesn't really work one thing I've found helps a lot and this works with any trick and I said the same with the whip front scooters if you watch that video is just knowing the motion you want to like practice it enough to where you know it that you could have your eyes closed and you know exactly what you're doing so that's what we're gonna learn that's one of the most important things so that's tip number one let's go to tip number two tip number two would be I would say finding somewhere where you're confident and comfortable to do it. So rather than doing it somewhere that you aren't confident in even flying out of to begin with, like a steep quarter, even if it's on flat ground, if that's what you're comfortable with starting off, that's where I learned them, that works perfectly fine. So finding somewhere where you're comfortable and practicing the spin, the motion. Tip number three. Tip number three practice all right you don't you can't just start riding and all of a sudden expect to land everything you're ever going to do so what's important is practice and consistently practicing perseverance is so important uh, there'll be times where you don't even think you can land it or you're not even getting close and then boom you'll land it then you have it every go trust me it really does happen so practice very important so we got practice being comfortable with where you're doing it and practicing the motion and having the motion down. These so far are three of them very important, if not the most important for this. All right, so my fifth tip is going to be foot placement on your scooter. A lot of people sometimes like to stand ski when they ride and I think that makes tail lifts extremely hard. So foot placement, wherever you're comfortable, I tend to jam my foot into the back of the brake, one foot here, just like so and that truly just is where it's comfortable for me, I guess. I mean, you can do it how you like, but this is how I do it, and this is what helps me do a lot of tail whips. A lot of tail whips. With all that said, I truly do believe that practice is the most important part of riding and is the key to improving and learning the tricks that you want to learn and getting to where you want to be. Perseverance and commitment and repetitiveness will get you to where you want to be and what tricks you want to do and I truly do believe that that's what I've followed since I started riding continuously doing the same thing over and over and over till you land it one day you will land it eventually hope you guys enjoyed just a couple of those little tips um, right now I'll show you a couple of like I'll maybe do like a little edit of a couple of tail whips around the skate park and then I'm going to put together my best tail whips that I've done in like another little edit like I did with the whip front scooter edit. So 
Um, tell you about it right now. Coming at you with supersonic speed. Ah, uh, summer lama do lama, you assume I'm a human. What I gotta do to get it through to you? I'm superhuman, innovative, and I made a rubble. So that anything you say is because shaking off of me and it'll move you and devastating more than ever. Demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience. A I just got back from riding and filming that little how to tail whip kind of tip trick for you guys. Um, I am about to have my first meal as I have not eaten yet, but just gonna kind of show you what I got here. I got all kind of laid out. In here is just some of these egg makers, which is pretty much the same as eggs, but it's just like without the fat in it. Um, then we have two pieces of turkey bacon, which is behind here, so I use um, a bunch of peppers and onions cut up. And then I'm going to have two pieces of toast with some Skippy peanut butter on the side, because it is the best. I'm going to eat that, and then I'm going to head to the gym. Um, so I'm going to make that up right now and I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's done. I'm not going to film the whole process. Alright, so this is it. All prepared, finished, cooked. Two pieces of turkey bacon, eggs, uh, peppers, onions, and then the two pieces of toast with some peanut butter. Right now I'm just editing the video you're watching as well as about to watch some YouTube. And then we're gonna hit the gym, so we'll be at the gym in three, two, one, one, gym. And welcome to the commentary section of this video. I uh, decided today, because I didn't really have anyone to film me in the gym, I would just kind of get a couple of angles and then just do like a voiceover. So pretty much on this day, it was what you call pool day, which is pretty much emphasizing your pulling motions, your pulling movements, so like your back, your biceps, um, bit of your shoulders, your rear delts. So we start off this workout with some weighted pull-ups, uh, close grip, really slow and controlled, doing a five by five. Um, just kind of getting used to them again. I haven't done pull-ups for a long time, so I decided may as well just chuck them on, chuck on a little bit of weight as you can see here I have this belt that adds a little bit more weight as body weight ones are too easy and it wouldn't be as beneficial. Um, I do believe there's a big difference between a pull up and a pull down. I think pull ups are something you need to continuously do to get good at. It's not something you can just do once and then or just do pull downs and expect to get good at them. So we start out with them. Next up we did the uh, neutral grip pull downs. So with this as well, just trying to go controlled. Also sticking a little bit heavy as this is what I like to call like my strength day, where I stay in the lower kind of rep ranges um, between you know around like six to eight. Usually don't really go below six unless I'm doing a five by five. So here's just another angle of that. Um, with these, you kind of, as it gets towards the end, adding in a little bit of swaying motion, but I advise to keep it as strict as you possibly can. As you can see here, I'm just trying to squeeze. And then after that, we did a seated cable row. Um, did about, I think, four sets of this, as well as, so we did five sets on the first movement, then we did four on the next movement, and then we did four on this one as well. All around six to eight-ish reps. This one I'm working a little bit more on really squeezing my middle back, as that is where it targets. So I'm emphasizing that. Um, pretty sure I have another angle of this here. And anyone that wants to know why I wear a belt, um, it just has a lot of lower back support, um, especially on movements like a squat where 
your abdominal walls are really pushing out and you know you can kind of like the motion will put a lot of tension on your back I would say but anyway next up we are going on to barbell curls so or this is with an easy bar but um, kind of a wider grip here I'm also doing I think five sets of six to eight so um, as you can see at the bottom of the motion um, if for some reason any of you guys follow Christian Guzman I do take his advice on kind of letting his fl tricep flex at the bottom of the movement knowing that that's where the full extension is kind of at um, this is kind of sped up so it looks like I'm going really fast but um, as you can see my tricep is fully flexed on the most part of the movement that's knowing you're getting the full extension and then yeah just a bit of posing don't know really what I was doing Next up we did the seated hammer curls and um, as you can see here I'm, I'm swinging a little bit but that's mainly because there's no back to this seat as they're all taken but you can see I'm kind of getting vascular now it's just um, as I'm going down in weight and getting to a lower body fat percentage the vascularity will slowly start to come in. Um, but yeah, here you can see I'm gripping kind of the top of the dumbbell as well. It puts a lot more pressure on your actual bicep. And then we finished off, or we didn't finish off, we did a preacher curl here with one arm, machine preacher curl. And after this, my camera actually died. But I believe after this, I did um, a set of, a couple of sets of face pulls. Um, some rear delt flies and then an upright row um, if anyone that doesn't know what it is that will be in later videos but I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far and stay tuned for this last little bit Okay, so now back from the gym finally um, my camera actually died while I was there so not to get to film the entire workout but I believe I would have done like a voiceover or something for whatever I did get right now just having a post-workout meal I have potatoes some chicken an egg just randomly there but um, a bunch of veggies and then this whole thing of lettuce and just watching some YouTube sipping on some water it's my second meal of the day, so I'll update you guys. We have another meal. I somehow lost my outro clips again. I don't know what it is with this camera, but sometimes I just lose clips. But just hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't really do much after the last clip you've seen anyway. I ate some food, went to bed. Uh, right now, I'm literally just drinking a coffee. And about to finish editing this video and start editing the next one so i hope you guys enjoyed smash that thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video and click one of these videos wherever they are watch it peace